Dear friends, for a given joint probability mass function of x and y, today we are going to find the correlation coefficient between x and y. So, you will be given a table, we have to find the correlation coefficient r, we know that that is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y. So, our aim is to find the covariance of x y, the standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y. We know covariance of x comma y is nothing but e of x y minus e of x into e of y. So, ultimately what we need of x, e of x square to find the variance of x. Similarly, we need e of y, e of y square to find the variance of y from which when I take the positive square root, I will be finding sigma x and sigma y. For the covariance, we need e x, e y. Similarly, the new thing we are going to find e x y. So, whenever the table is given, always we need to find the row sum and column sum. That is very, very important. We find the row sum and the column sum. x is given here and y is given here. Whenever y is given in top, that means this is my corresponding y values. So, consider this as a column and this is a row. That means this is x0, x1 values. Similarly, you can think this as y0 and y1 values. So, whatever the data is given in the top, it is going to be representing the column. That is y represents the column here and x represents the rows. So, now we found the column sum and the row sum from the given data. So, just add all the row sum and it is 4 by 8. Similarly, fill the column sum and now the grand total is always 1 because total probability is 1. Okay. Now, we keep all this data in our mind. Let us calculate one by one what we need. Let us go. First, we have to find E of x. So, if your table is correct, the answer is going to be 100% correct. Let us see. Take the table. Now, E of x is what? x into the corresponding probabilities. So, here 0 and then the corresponding probability is 4 by 8. Similarly, we have the next value of x 1 and the corresponding probability is 4 by 8. So, it is going to be 0 into 4 by 8 plus 1 into 4 by 8. We get the solution. Similarly, next we have to find what? E of x square. The same process. Instead of x, we are going to square the values of x. Now, we take the table. It is going to be 0 square and 1 square. This remains the same. So, we will get the answer again. 1 by 2. In the similar way, I am going to find E of y. Now, you go to the table and you take the value minus 1, 3 by 8. Similarly, 1 into 5 by 8. So, when you multiply and add, you will be getting 1 by 4. The same thing, when you take square on y, so this will become minus 1 square is going to be simply 1. So, we will be getting 3 by 8 plus 5 by 8. Yeah, that is what mentioned in the table. 3 by 8. So, now you can get the answer easily. Okay, we find all the four data. So, that is e of x, e of x square, e of y, e of y square. So, next we have to find finally e of x, y. Okay, let us go. What is e of x, y? So, you can see, you write the formula as it is summation because e of x y depends on both the variables. So, we write a summation for x, the other summation for y, we are involving what? Both x and y variable and the probability x y, joint probability. So, you just ignore the last column and the last row. It is very simple. Now, x into y into the corresponding probability. So, 0 into minus 1 into 1 by 8. 
Similarly, what we have to do? 0 into 1 into 3 by 8. So, whatever the variables given to us, multiply the x variable and y and finally the probability. So, now you get the solution. So, once you calculate, find the value. So, this is the fifth data we need. So, all the data are done. So, we know the formula just substitution and which will give the answer. So, my covariance of x comma y is minus 1 by 8. Now, next we have to find sigma x. To find sigma x, this is the y survey, find sigma x square, variance of x. You know, you remember from the unit 1 and 2, e of x square minus e of x whole square. So, every data is with you. You can just calculate the value. In the similar way, what you can do? I can find sigma y also. It is very, very important when you find sigma x or sigma y, it does not matter, but whenever you take square root, you have to take only what? The positive value. Okay, done. Now, we know the formula for correlation. Covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x into sigma y. So, use your calculator and find the solution. So, my R value is minus 0 0.2582. So, now we conclude the correlation is negative. In exam point of view, they need not to be give this y always on the top and x always on the bottom. You can have the other sense also. So, whenever it is, whenever the data is given in the top, you have to consider this as a column. Whenever it is given in the bottom, we are going to add. So, this is going to be my summation probability of x. And whenever you add here, this will become probability of y. Okay, that is what we have mentioned in the table. Okay, just for your recap.